Hey everybody, so today is Saturday and it is salad Saturday. I am making a chicken and asparagus salad today. Um, ingredients you're going to need for this one. Um, I'm doing two breasts of chicken with the asparagus. You want to actually keep it on the same pan. Um, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Ingredients, I have some olive oil, balsamic vinegar. I'm going to use kosher salt, um, pepper, and paprika. You want to drizzle the chicken and the asparagus with the balsamic vinegar uh, about two teaspoons on the chicken and about a teaspoon over the asparagus and then olive oil on both generously sprinkled pepper and the kosher salt on the chicken breast and then also sprinkle it with a little bit of paprika and then you're going to put it in your oven at 400 degrees you're going to bake it for about 18 minutes until the asparagus is tender. Now, this is going to depend on your asparagus. I have a little bit of thinner asparagus, so it may not take as long. Um, the thicker it is, the longer it's going to take, but you still want to kind of keep it crispy. So I'm going to check it probably after about 10 minutes. Um, once the asparagus is done, I'm going to take that off and let the chicken continue to bake until it is about 165, 75 degrees, and, and then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you the rest of the salad. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little bit of the salad that we're gonna be doing. I am gonna be using some spinach and some romaine lettuce. So I'm just gonna chop up the spinach that I have sitting here. I've probably got about a cup of spinach. And then I'm gonna pull off some romaine leaves. Maybe three leaves here. I don't like the stemmy part, so I just kind of cut those right down the middle. I do kind of take the top parts off though. And we'll just chop those up. Fantastic. So there is your salad mixture. And then you're also going to have a little bit of red onion. You can keep that whole and make them into rings. I'm just going to do some little quarter slices like this and then I'm just going to kind of break those up throughout and just kind of drop them on top of the salad no rhyme or reason I mean you can make it look pretty for yourself if you want to all right perfect and I'm going to put that over here now the salad uh, the dressing that we're going to use is a citrus um, I already have about a third cup of olive oil in this bowl it's going to call for two tablespoons of lemon juice so I'm just going to squeeze those out I'm going to throw the seeds out here there we go a couple more on this side and then I'm just going to measure that out there's one two perfect and this gonna cost for two tablespoons of lime juice And we'll just juice that. Let's see how much we got in this one. In this one side. Oh, this looks like it's going to be perfect. Perfectly two tablespoons. Now, I'm going to step to the side. Because it also calls for two tablespoons of orange juice. So I'm just going to chop, squeeze. And again, I'm going to add orange juice. Wonderful. Next is gonna be your maple syrup. I'm gonna set this right over here. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. And two, perfect. And a tablespoon of water. Yeah, I'm just gonna use tap water, it's easy. I'm not scared of my tap water. All right. And that is all you're going to need for your salad dressing. So now we're just going to wait for the chicken and the asparagus to cook. And I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Um, I went ahead and took the asparagus out after about 12 minutes just because it looked like it was getting a little done. And I didn't want it to lose its crisp. So I have this off to the plate. I am actually waiting about 12 more minutes on the... Um, chicken to get done and I'll check back All right, so the chicken and asparagus is done and now we are ready to Set it up. 
So, um, like I said, I like my asparagus a little on the crispier side. Now, if you're going to serve this to friends, then you may want to make this nice and pretty. And you can slice it. If you're feeding just yourself and it's not really that important on how the chicken looks, you could always chop it into, you know, bite-sized pieces, which is completely fine. I'm just going to kind of slice this to, to make it look pretty. Uh, my salad plate here, I'm just going to pick up the asparagus, lay it off on the side. And then I'm going to just kind of lay that chicken off on the side, make it look nice and pretty. And there we go. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that dressing. I'm going to stir it up just because that maple syrup will typically sink down to the bottom. So I just want to mix that up just a little bit better. And then I'm just going to drizzle it right on top. And voila! That is your finished product. So thanks again for hanging out with me for Salad Saturday. I hope you enjoy your salad and I will see you next week for workouts and more recipes. Have a great day.